Hey guys, I'm Max from No Cry, and today I would like to show you how to assemble the No Cry Forestry Helmet. What you'll find in the package is, of course, the helmet itself, the suspension that goes inside of the helmet. We have two arrows, then there's the support for the visor, and lastly, we have the two visors that come included one clear visor and one mesh visor. To allow for easy assembly, make sure that you take all of the parts out of their original packaging and place them on a flat working surface like this. The first step of assembly is to take the helmet and install the suspension. So what we'll do is we take the helmet and flip it upside down. One little trick you might use is to take any type of tape roll and place it under the helmet so the helmet will be balanced by itself. We now take the suspension and lift it up and over the helmet. And it's important to make sure that the brow pad of the suspension is aligned with the front side brim of the helmet and the adjustable dial ratchet of the suspension is at the back side of the helmet. You want to make sure that the webbing of the suspension that ultimately will sit on top of your head is pointing inwards of the helmet. Because if you try and install the suspension with the webbing outwards, you will accidentally install it upside down and you won't be able to wear the helmet properly. So we orient it back, make sure that the webbing is pointing inwards of the helmet and then we can start and align each of the four hair keys with their respective hanger slots on the helmet. So we align each of the hanger keys with their slot, place it over and press it in until it clicks into place. We repeat this for all the three other hierarchies. And make sure that they all click into place so we know that they're securely installed. As you can see, right now the suspension is fastened and installed. The brow pad is at the front and the adjustable dial ratchet is at the back so we can adjust. With the suspension correctly installed, we can move onto installing both of the earmuffs. We take the helmet and we place it back facing this way. Take one of the earmuffs and place it over the helmet upside down and install the connector into the cap slot of the helmet. You can just place it over and press it in until it clicks into place just like this. It might feel a little counterintuitive to be installing the earmuff upside down, but this is actually the resting position because of the system, we can turn it backwards right now and have it in a resting position on top of the helmet so it won't hinder us during further assembly. We repeat this step for the other earmuff as well. Take the connector and place it into the slot. So it clicks into place and then this one we also turn towards the back of the helmet. So we can now install the visor support by placing it in front of the helmet and aligning the connectors on each side with the little slots that are part of the earmuff connectors that we just installed. So we align it on both sides and click in the connectors. We do it here as well. Now, what is so great about the visor support is that it can be locked into three different depth positions. This allows you to pick yourself like how close you want the visor to sit to your face. For this video, I would like to install it in the second position. So I put it forward one more click on both sides. So it will be a perfect fit of the visor to my liking. Also make sure that it's securely installed and it freely rotates up and down so it will fasten the visor securely. We now have all the other parts installed onto the helmet and all we have to do right now is pick which of the two visors we want to use. Now, as I said before, uh, the two visors you will get is one is a mesh visor and the other one is a clear visor. Now today I would like to install the clear visor and one thing that you should do before the first installation 
is to be aware that the clear visor comes with a protective film on both sides. So what we'll do is we'll take the film and remove it. The one side and then also the other side. Now we can install it. We align the visor in front of the helmet with the visor support we just installed. And as you can see, the visor support has locking knobs. The visor itself has slots that align with the knobs. So what we do first is the center slot, we align it and place it over the locking knob and then twist it to secure it. We do that on one side as well. We align the slots with the knobs and then turn the knobs to securely fasten the visor into place. Repeat this step for the other side as well. Align the two slots with the knobs and turn to lock them. And once we've done that, always make sure that everything is securely locked and then the visor will be installed. Together with the visor support, you can move the visor up and down. So when you don't want to directly use it, it can be on top of the helmet and you can easily leave it down to protect your face. And also for the earmuffs, they are right now in resting position. If you would like to use them, simply lift them up and turn them over onto your ears. All right. So now your Forrester helmet is fully assembled. If there's anything in the video that we didn't cover, or if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime. That's it from my side. Cheers.